Hello. I was thinking of continuing my illustration set of Paris Metro landmarks. The last one I did was Père Lachaise, and I did a video of it too using a tempera, which I'm now thinking of redoing. I just think it came out too colorful for my taste. But today I decided to paint the Paris landmark of Saint Michel. It's right next to the Saint Michel station, and that's why I named my set Paris Metro Illustration. I filmed myself walking to Saint Michel just to get some reference and photos. A lot of these landmarks are close to each other, so it's easy to walk. Also, this is what Notre Dame de Paris looks like as of the 31st of December 2022. That's when I filmed this. And here is the landmark I am talking about painting. They had a Christmas market at the time. Usually it's just an empty plaza in front. You can see the fountain is very big and very detailed. There's the archangel and the chimeras and there's columns. The water was torn off, but that's fine, I'm not planning on painting any water on it. Here I am leaving the market and another view from afar. And Notre Dame is like right there. Bye! Poor thing. Here are the thumbnails I came up with in my sketchbook. I used watercolor for them. They are very loose. I did them only to come up with the composition and the colors. I decided to paint the one with the chimera in front because I think the composition is much more interesting. I made the drawing on a tan mixed media paper. I'll be using my egg tempera paints from Senelier. I started it in a watercolor kind of way. I just added a lot of water to the egg tempera to get that look. So I was reading about this fountain and uh, it was made in the 1860s and it was meant to represent the fight between good and evil. That's why it has Archangel Saint Michel stepping on the demon. It was also criticized when it opened because people didn't like the style since it has a lot of different elements. Which is crazy to think because I think it's very beautiful and uh, the sculptures are actually really well done. Anyways, that's what I read about it. I am not a historian. I'm just saying. I just painted because I love the classical and realistic look. In short, I just painted because it's pretty. After I establish the colors, like in my thumbnail, I move on to adding more opaque paint. I am going for a vignette look. I'm not painting the entire fountain. I prefer to focus on a few elements. I think it's more interesting for me to paint in this way. Also, in this style, it will also fit in with the rest of the illustration set. I will show the ones I have finished at the end. After the main elements have been established, there's not much left to do other than render. I'm just focusing on the dark values just to give the shape.
I'm trying to make sure that I get the blue-green of the statues right. It's one of the things I like of this fountain, it's the color of the sculptures and how they stand out from the golden stone. The good thing about the color of the paper is that it already has that warm golden color, just like the stones. So it will be a nice look for the vignette. A lot of the monuments and buildings in Paris are made with the same stone. So this mixed media paper is perfect for this. Saint Michel is the main focus of the piece, so once I am happy with his look, I can move on to detailing the rest of the painting. I moved on to the letters, but I stopped in front of the chimera. I'm going to paint the chimera first and then I'm going to paint the letters on top. It's just easier than painting around the letters. I'm trying to show the texture of the worn out stone by adding different tones and colors and then adding the details of the feathers.
and here is the final illustration. I am happy with the look of it. I'll add it to the rest of the set. And here you can see my previous ones. Père Lachaise, this is the one I'm planning on redoing. Blanche, that's where the Moulin Rouge is, so that's why I painted it. La Bastille for Bastille. The Monument of La République for Republic. The famous Tower of Gare de Lyon. And the cover is one of the old entrances to the metro. And that's one of my many illustration projects. Thank you so much for watching.